Exercise 8.5 Leven sum is an often repeated 10 mark question. I think it's often repeated, but nevertheless, it's a 10 mark question. So, friends, uh, please take care of the sum. Okay, let's get started. The left hand side has t squared minus 1. So, the first thing that we're going to do is write the characteristic equation, right? So, the characteristic equation is going to be p squared minus 1 is equal to 0, which implies p squared is equal to 1. Therefore, p is equal to root of 1, which is plus or minus 1. So, my characteristic equation can be written in just two seconds as, I'm sorry, not the characteristic equation, the CF can be written as a e power x plus b e power minus x. Because here they are two different roots, plus 1 and minus 1. Okay, now let's get started with finding the particular integral. So, that is what is going to be slightly different, right? So, particular integral 1 is going to be for cos ux, right? So, this is going to be 1 by d squared minus 1 into cos ux. So, you remember the formula that whenever your x is going to be equal to cos ax or sin ax, right? You are going to replace this d squared with minus a squared right so this is going to become minus of a squared don't assume that um, when you say minus a squared it doesn't mean that um, you know once you square it the sign becomes positive no it is minus into a squared so a in this case is 2 so it becomes minus 4 into minus 1 into cos 2x so, I get it as cos qx, sorry, cos qx minus cos qx by 5. I am just taking the minus 1 top. So, you got it as minus 1 by 5 into cos qx, right? Now, let us go with particular integral number 2. Let us use a different color. So, for particular integral 2, it is 1 by d squared minus 1 into minus 2 sin 2x, right? That's what do we have here? Yes, minus 2 sin 2x, right? So, again, replace this d squared with minus a squared. Minus a squared is nothing but 2 is a. Therefore, minus a squared becomes minus into a squared. So, which is 4. Again, minus 1 into minus 2 into sin 2x. Okay. So, this can be written as minus 2 by minus 5 into sin 2x, which is plain 2 by 5, right? 2 by 5 into sin 2x. Therefore, the general solution can be written as y is equal to your cf plus pi1 plus pi2. So, which is nothing but you found that your cf was a e power x plus b e power minus x. Am I right? Yes, that was your cf. And your pi1 was nothing but what did you get for cos of x? Minus 1 by 5, right? Okay, let me change the sign here minus 1 by 5 cos 2x and pi2 was just plain 2 by 5 sin 2x. So, that is the final solution. So, this is a very very easy 10 mark question. If you remember that whenever it is of the form cos 2x or sin 2x, you have to replace t squared with minus of a squared. So, if we remember that, then the uh, solution comes straight away. It's an easy 10 mark question.